Hey folks, this is Tony Day. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a review of a light. This is the Waylight Ninja 200. And I feel like this is going to be the best way that I can do it uh, because there, uh, I just feel like I need to do this a little bit off the cuff so I can you can get a genuine response of, of how I feel about this light. I was sent this quite a bit ago, a few months ago if I remember correctly. And uh, I get to keep this to my understanding. Um, if I need to return it, Waylight, tell me that I have to return this because I don't know. Um, but this... Uh, this light here is the Ninja Waylight 200. It's bicolor, um, and it has a lot of problems, okay? Uh, I am not going to be reviewing the light quality because it's irrelevant. The build of this has some engineering issues that makes it kind of a no-go for me, okay? And I'll explain. So I'll try to compliment sandwich this the best way that I can so that I can be constructive, okay? The first thing is the build quality part of it. The, the body of this light is fine. It has, I believe, metal pieces everywhere. Okay, it feels like metal. Some of them feel like lighter pieces of metal, like this green lock feels like it's not as robust as some others I've used, but that's fine. I don't feel like this will have, you know, many issues uh, as far as just using it in regular use uh, with the yoke. And, you know, this looks like it could take, not like dropping on the ground, which I wouldn't imagine anybody wants to do, but it's not gonna just break from doing nothing, right? Uh, as long as you take care of this thing, I don't think the body's gonna break, okay? That's that's a point. The cob is, if you ever look at cobs, you can get a sense of what kind of light you're looking at. Since this is bicolor, it is gonna have orange and blue uh, lights, basically, to mix the, the colors to get all the different color temperatures. And there's some cobs that kind of like randomize it and have more of like a circular shape to the way that the little LED lights are kind of situated. And what that does is make it where there's less fringing on your lights. These are linear, it's a cheaper one. There's a lot of, a lot of lights that do this. So just keep in mind that just by looking at it, you can really get a sense of, of if you're going to get like some kind of fringing or not with your shadows. Um, in my opinion, the shadow quality is not very great. Um, it's better than some others, but it's not as good as the best, if that makes sense. If you really want sharp shadows uh, that don't have like defects in it or have fringing and all that kind of thing, this isn't going to be the best light for you. All right, so here's the power supply. And um, this is a confusing thing to me, okay? The first problem with this power supply is the fact that it does not have an actual plug on it. You have to use an adapter. The other problem is that this is a brick. You see how big this is? When I want to plug this into a wall, like let's say I don't want to use an extension cable or a stinger or whatever you want to call it, um, I can't really do that in some circumstances because depending on, depending on where I am, and if there's stuff plugged into an outlet already, I might not be able to fit this in there because it's a hog, okay? It sh this should not be what this is. It also has this small connector here. It's good that it's an elbow, you know, it's an L one, an L pin or like this 90 degree pin, whatever you want to call them. It's good that it's like this, but these are still easy to break. Uh, these little ones, they go in there. If there's any stress on it, it can really cause a problem, okay? The other thing that is a problem about this power source, okay? Not just that it plugs in weird, that you have to use an adapter, that this pin can be very fragile, okay? It's that you have this thing, and um, uh, so you got all this like cable that's gonna be coming down, and you're most likely not gonna be able to plug this in, or it's not really a good idea for you to plug this into an outlet, so you're gonna end up using an extension cable, right? So when you do that, you're going to plug it in, and then where does this thing go? Well, it's going to be on the floor. Or you're going to have to maybe put it under the stand. Or something like that, right? It's going to be on the floor. Uh, so uh, the other thing you can do is tape it to the light stand. But that to me is ridiculous. Because there are tons of lights available that have the power supply. And you have like this little hanger on it. And you can hang it right on your light stand. It's built into it, okay? Let me compare it real quick to the plug that I have for my NAND lights, okay? These are like the cheaper ones, but this is what I would expect at least, okay? Um, 
if you're not gonna do where there's a power, like a big brick power supply and it has to hang on the light stand, you know, if you're gonna do one like this, let it be where you can hang it, okay? There's plenty of examples of doing that right. The other one is this one, which is really simple. You have this very robust, big three prong uh, female connector that goes into the light head. And then you've got a regular three, three pin connector that goes into an outlet or into a stinger. This makes sense. This makes no sense. Now you look at this and you go, the battery power makes sense. Look, it's right on the head, right? I don't have to put it on a little dingle dangle that's you know hanging off the light stand. Uh, and it goes right into the head, super easy. I put in some, some batteries, right? I put in some batteries and then uh, I'm good to go, right? I got this little connector here, easy. Well, just look at this. You guys tell me if, I gotta make sure I'm at, yeah. You guys look at this and you tell me if there's a problem. Okay, do you see it? Okay. Here is the pin to lock the light for the tilt. Here's where the batteries go. You see the problem? Watch. Okay. I'm gonna loosen this. Okay. Where do you think the weight distribution is on the head? It's all over here. So when I loosen this, the whole thing is leaning and it's all secured by this little pin. Okay, all of the center of gravity. Well, you can call it a center, but it's, it's way over here. It's totally unbalanced. And when you do this, you're gonna cause stress on this pin and it will break, okay? It will bend first if you're lucky to where tightening it and loosening it is gonna be a pain in the butt or it'll break, which is even worse. It'll fall down, hit somebody, hit yourself, break, whatever, okay? So, um, and if you think I'm exaggerating by using large batteries on this thing, as if this isn't supposed to use larger batteries, let me just tell you that if you use batteries with a light and you try to use that thing at like 100%, you want the biggest batteries that you can get that have the highest watt hours, okay? So these are two big Sony batteries here. And this is what I would expect to power, either a V-mount battery or, you know, big batteries like this. So I don't have to worry about it running out of juice. The other thing, I'm not gonna demonstrate it. Uh, I'll just explain it, okay? The other issue that I had with this light was if I turn it on and I change something, when I turn it off and then I turn it back on, it does not save where it was. There might be a firmware update to fix that. If there's not Waylight, you should do that because I want to save my lights so that I save the batteries. Okay, so I'll turn them off. When I turn this back on, I expect the dimmer to be back where it was and I expect the color temperature to be what I set it at before. Okay, so by the time I got this and I used it, it did no such thing. Um, so if there is a firmware update that fixes it, Waylight, you can let me know and I'll link it. But you know, this thing should save your settings, okay? All my other lights do. So this is the Bowens mount um, adapter. And when you first look at it, you go, it looks like every other adapter. It's, you know, it's fine, right? Uh, there's there's nothing to, to write home about, right? Uh, there are, and you might think I'm being annoying about this and that's fine, but I find this to be a terribly uh, designed piece, okay? The first issue, is this thing, this lever. When you loosen it, listen. Hear that? That is the lever hitting its, hitting the adapter. And I'm not exaggerating that, I'm not trying to do this. It just, ru like it rubs against it. That is a, that is, you know, first a sign of shoddy workmanship and shoddy design. Okay, this should not happen. This lever's too big. Okay, this lever is too big. Here's the other problem. For the angle, okay, it's stiff in the middle here. And you have to use force. And by the time you do that, it's tilting like straight down. So this tolerance right in the middle here, I can loosen it. Oh. 
Well, it just came off. Um, anyway, I can loosen it all the way. I'll put, I'll put it back in now. Uh, and it's still stiff as hell in the middle. It just stays there, okay? And if you try to angle it, it's loosey-goosey. You put it back in the middle and you're trying to really get the angle, it's gonna be a pain in the butt, okay? Terrible, terrible. Um, I'll have to get the washer back. The next, the next thing that's not so great about this is this mount is plasticky and doesn't feel very secure. So I wouldn't mount it from this thing. I think that's what it's supposed to be for, but uh, it when I mounted it to my stand, it didn't feel very good. It felt very loose, okay? Um, the next problem is the biggest issue, okay? So I'm gonna take off the safety cover here and I'm gonna put the adapter onto the head. Okay. So I, I locked it in place. Okay. Now keep in mind, I'm checking myself out, keep in mind that like my understanding is that you're supposed to be able to mount this to a light stand. Okay. You should be able to do that. I mean, I don't know what else this is for, but watch this. Did you hear that? I did not release the brake on the Bowens mount on the light and it just came off. I barely put any force on this and it comes right off. Okay. So like I'm barely turning this thing and it comes right out. I would not trust this to not fall off while I'm adjusting it. If you've used certain uh, Bowens mount uh, modifiers, they can be a little heavy. You know, they can be um, they can be a little heavy, and this thing uh, essentially makes it where if you were to mount a modifier on it, it could come right off. Because if you you know if you try to turn it a little bit, it could come right out because the lock is not stable with this thing, um, and especially if you're mounting the light and everything to this thing. I guess it's so that you can balance on a heavier uh, modifier. This, I would say you just don't use it with this thing because it could come right off by just barely turning this and the light falls out and it hits somebody. Um, this adapter is bad, okay? I like that it has an umbrella holder. I like that they thought to include this. I think that that's a good thing. Um, but the overall design of this is just not, I have no confidence in this adapter at all. I would not trust it. I, and I said I wanted to compliment Sandwich, okay? So lastly, I'm gonna say I really appreciate that they did include a box, like a bag that you can carry the light in. There are much better lights out there uh, than this one. This light is not worth the money at all. I think that the power supply needs to be rethought. I think that this battery option needs to be either put on a ballast or it needs to be, you know, hung where it's going to have a center on the light. So you're not getting everything hanging off of one side. Okay. Um, that's that thing. The power supply needs to be a normal power supply. It needs to either be a regular standard plug. Okay or it needs to have a proper ballast and power supply that you can hang off the light stand so it's out of the way. And um, yeah, I mean, any other company has designed power supplies that work way better than this thing. Um, and then the Bowens adapter, it's just bad. It needs to be a stable and safe adapter. Because of all those issues, in my opinion, this is not worth the money at all. I would not buy this. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe and that will help make sure that you see more content like this. And if you would like to support the channel, please go over to patreon.com slash Tony Day where you can sign up there to donate as little as $1 to the channel. You get more access to me and the content that I make. Uh, you get sneak previews for videos and that kind of thing. Also feel free to join our Discord community for the channel. And uh, that's it. I will see you later.